As every motorcyclist knows, when it comes to safety, being seen is the name of the game. That's why I'm surprised that most of the big name helmet manufacturers haven't incorporated built-in lighting safety features by now. Until recently, if you wanted to add a brake light to your helmet, it meant taking your bike's rear lighting apart to splice in the wiring. Doable, but a bother, and something that not every biker is comfortable attempting. But no more. Brake free which recently secured investment capital from the Shark Tank TV show, has rolled out a close to ideal situation. My wife got me a break free for Christmas. I snuck it in a ride in between showers on a rainy Florida winter's day to capture these images. Hit the brakes and the device's built-in accelerometer sends it into brake mode with no wiring needed. Installation is a snap. You can watch other YouTubers for the details on that, but the short story? it'll take you about 15 minutes. The brake light has three modes, fully lit, which is what I use, pulsing, or a minimal mode. Switching between them just requires a button press. Those helmet wires you see have nothing to do with brake free. They power the glowing blue stripes, but that's a story for another day. The brake free has a mini USB plug for recharging, with brake free saying a single charge will last you between eight and 12 hours. Perhaps the best feature of all is the accelerometer. Most gas and electric motorcycles don't trigger the brake light on downshifts or regen slowdowns, but the brake free goes into its extra brake braking mode whenever it senses deceleration. By the way, that flashing pattern you see in the riding video isn't brake free, it's my action cam. To the human eye, LEDs appear constantly lit, but some cameras struggle with LED lighting. A biking buddy of mine recently followed me saying my brake free was highly visible on a sunny Florida day. But it's not perfect. Topping the list of cons, it's expensive. When this video was recorded, it cost $170 plus shipping, higher than the price of some entry-level helmets. And the button requires a hard press to activate or switch between modes, making it tough to do with winter gloves on. Finally, it does add weight to the helmet, although it hasn't bothered me yet with riding on trips of about 90 miles or less. I haven't had a chance yet to get into a really long ride since I received it, but based on my journey so far, I don't have any reason to think the weight will be noticed by most riders. The pros far outweigh the cons with the easy installation topping my list. This thing is bright with the light up high. It should help grab the attention of motorists. Finally, it just plain works. It appears sturdy, weatherproof, and seems like it's going to hold up, which means four out of five stars. When it comes time to treat yourself to a new lid, Brake Free will sell you a 3M adhesive helmet mount for 13 bucks. If you like this video, please hit the YouTube subscribe button. I'll be doing occasional videos that bring you the beauty of motorcycling in Florida, along with quick reviews like this one from time to time. I hope you'll come along for the ride.